Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show how we integrate PyTest automation framework with the Allure report. How we do that? So we have already uh, automation code, and this we covered in the some previous tutorials where I created the multiple test scripts. Now I am going to run the test, all the tests, and then I will show how we generate the Allure report. If we want to generate the Allure report, then we want we need to set up first the Allure PyTest or the because we have PyTest framework, so we need to install first PyTest uh, Allure PyTest module package. So here is URL you can see if you search this package right Allure Py PyTest then you will see. Just copy the command here, go to your uh, PyCharm right and in the terminal just paste this pip install Allure PyTest. In turn, you will see it will install in your system, right? Like this, you will see the message. Now, Allure is installed in the system. So now just run the command, uh, command to execute your test, right? Like PyTest, Selenium, PyTest folders. So it will run, gen, run all the tests which is available under the uh, this Selenium PyTest folder. Then for the Allure report, just pass the hyphen hyphen Allure dir, okay, and then give the folder name. Folder name like I am giving the report, right? So what it will do? It will generate one report folder at the root and add all the reports just uh, into the JSON permit, all the lower reports in the JSON permit. Let me run and you will see it started the execution. If you can see here report folder is automatically created, right? Now the test is running. Once the test will complete all the reports we will see under here in the form of JSON. Okay, now you can see here uh, test execution completed and three failed, five passed, five forwarding messages we are getting. Okay, and here the report folder you can see in the report folder we have JSON files, right? These are the lower JSON files. Now, if we directly open this because this is the JSON file, it's hard to understand the reports. Okay, so what we can do, we can run this and convert into the HTML format. Okay, so to convert this report into HTML format, we need to run Allure command. Okay, so first of all, we need to install the Allure command line. How we do that? Let's see. So you can see there is a uh, doc qameta.io Allure framework. Okay, there is installing installing a command line. Uh, option is option. Click on this. Okay, here you can see there is multiple uh, options, right, for the Linux, Mac, and Windows. Even if I go in the Windows, there is a command line option to install the Endure, as well as we have uh, manual installation. So for manual installation, we need to download the uh, file from here. So click on the Maven Central repository. You will see here all the libraries of the that version is available. Now we need to download the zip. So Allure command line zip file is available. Click on this and download. Once the folder is downloaded, this command line, Allure command line is downloaded. Extract this and set up the bin folder path in, in, in your system environment variable. So how we do that? Let's see. Now this is available under the download folder and extracted is this. Okay, go to the folder and then you will you will looks like your folder will looks like this. Click on the bin folder, copy the complete path, 
and if you want to you can also move in different directory like c drive d drive and after that you can copy the path now i'm going to copy the path directly from the download folder and then open your environment variable edit the system environment click on this go to the environment variables and then you will see here the path under the system user edit when you open environment variable path it looks like this click on new button paste here path is set up here right make sure you are you have copied the till bin folder path click on okay now path is set up okay now once the environment path set up done successfully just run in your serve command your your serve and then folder name so where the report is generated so this is the report folder here for the folder um, report folder okay you need to pass this folder here and then enter generating the report to a temp directory right and you can see it's launched the LO report ui now here we have the date when we executed the test what is the duration of the test how many tests we have here we have pie chart how many tests pass and how many tests fail what is the percentage of the fail and pass okay there is so all suite means files click on this we will see all the classes name and their corresponding methods we have here overview in the overview we can see the detail right and this is the history tab if we have executed multiple times if you will see your history retries option is coming if your test is retrying after the fail we will see here the retry error we will see like this here you can see the error uh, why the test is failing if i expand this you will see the more details here okay so there is a graph section where we will see the re result in the graph format there is a timeline there is a behavior option right there is a package section so all these are details are available in delivery report this is very nice report okay and uh, let's implement this in your project so hope this will be helpful to generate the report for the python py test selenium web driver and if you like the tutorial click on the like button and subscribe the channel click on the bell icon so that you can get latest videos notification also share this tutorial to your friends and colleague and leave a comment if you have any query and let's meet and let's meet in the next tutorial thanks for watching the video